On Sunday the 21st of May 2023, we went to the Mazuma branded football stadium in Morecambe for this year's Preserve Bus Running Day organised by members of the Ribble Vehicle Preservation Trust. We attended with our friends in the Barrow Transport Group who had brought along 169, 572 and 928. We start with the vehicles we saw statically. We have the RVPT's nearly restored Morecambe and Hesham 72, a Park Royal AEC Regent. Next to it is 1467, a Burlingham Leyland PD2. Next, Ribble Leyland Atlantean 1481, and the Marshall bodied 665, a Leyland Leopard. From Stagecoach, we have a newly repainted ALX 400 Trident in Lancaster City Transport colours. We also have Ribble Livered Enviro 400 10030 and one of the brand new Enviro 400 MMCs, nine of which were recently introduced to the company's flagship 555 Lake District service that operates between Lancaster and Keswick. Here we have a duple bodied Leyland Leopard on the right with a Dennis Javelin on the left. This is a Leyland Tiger with Alexander N type bodywork. From the Dewsbury Bus Museum, a Huddersfield Daimler with East Tank's bodywork. Sitting next to it is a fully open top Southport Leyland Tiger. Also from Yorkshire, we have this Volvo B7 TL Right Eclipse. From the RVPT, Volvo B10M 20131. This is Darwin Corporation 39, a Leyland Titan PD2. This is an Alexander Highlander, Leyland Leopard. From Stagecoach in Chester, an open top ALX 400 17502 is the fleet number. On the left is Warrington 71, a Bristol RE, whilst on the right is an open top MCW Metro bus. The Metrobus was new to London Transport in 1984. In 2001, the bus became a training vehicle before it was sold on to Ensign Bus in 2002, where it was converted to open top. The bus was passed to Stagecoach Newcastle in 2003. In 2007, it was sold to Shoreline Sun Cruises in Scarborough, before falling into the hands of a town and district group in 2016. From the North West Vehicle Restoration Trust is Leyland Atlantean 1301. From Town and District, Yonkia Volvo B10M 673. From Blackpool, Open Top Leyland Olympian 857. Here we have a Ribble Dual Doored Bristol RE and Leyland Atlantean 1898. Finally, from the Workington Heritage Transport Trust, two more Volvo B10Ms. 983 and 710. For our first trip, we travelled aboard Leyland Atlantean 1397 to Carnforth.
Next, a ride aboard ALX 400 18139. The bus was donated to the RVPT by Stagecoach and is named in memory of Douglas Bailey, whom, along with the Trust's chairman Malcolm Smith, had acquired the vehicle for preservation. It was new to Stagecoach Chorley in 2004. It was later transferred to Barrow Depot, replacing Volvo Olympians, before it ended up at Morecambe, being displaced in Barrow by Enviro 400 Scanniers. Having alighted at Happy Mount Park, we boarded the Ripple Bristol VR for a short hop to Winter Gardens.
Next, we travelled to Heesham aboard for his stagecoach Chester ALX 400, which had been following Ribble's White Lady. We returned on 377 for Leyland's Royal Tiger. The bus was new to Ribble, Carlisle in 1952. It was withdrawn in 1965, by which time it was based in Skirton, Lancaster. Instead of being sold to a dealer, it was chosen for conversion to meet the needs of the Lake District Cheshire home near Windermere. The work was carried out by Ribble in Frenchwood and involved removing most of the seats to provide wheelchair space and fitting a tail lift. It was used by the home for almost 20 years until it was purchased by the RVPT in 1985. This rally marked the bus's return to the road following a full-scale restoration. We headed back to Carnforf aboard Darwin 39 before returning to Morecambe aboard the Ribble Alexander Highlander Leopard. Alright, yeah, yeah. 
we finished the day with some final shots on the seafront.
Overall, it was a good day. 169 and 928 behaved themselves whilst out in service, and the event itself was well organised. The end of the day had been slightly marred, however, by some of the local youths being rowdy and abusive towards one of the Heritage bus crews and its passengers. Apart from that, though, the weather was lovely, and as ever, we look forward to next year's event. If you would like to follow me and be notified of the videos that I post, please feel free to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, pressing the like button would be much appreciated, and comments are welcome too. Thanks for watching, and take care.